apart from the license, you need to choose which business activity or activities you're going to conduct. Where do you start? Let's see. Each registration authority maintains a business activity list, which you may find either on their official website or specifically request from one of their representatives. In the past, each registration authority had their own list and one and the same activity could be called differently by various authorities. Since recently, this system was unified for Dubai. But in Northern Emirates, you can still find business activities which are broad in nature and which do not have really equivalence in Dubai system. Regardless of existing differences, still each registration authority has its own business activity list. Now let's have a look what each activity list looks like. Generally, there are several columns included into it. First comes the code column. Every activity has its own code assigned to it. This code contains several digits. On the one hand, such coding system allows to shorten the activity name by referring to a code only, instead of writing full activity name. On the other hand, activity code shows which group or category a particular business activity falls under. When do you need to know if activities you choose belong to the same group or not? Here comes the answer. Most registration authorities have their own internal policies with respect to how many activities can be mentioned on the license. And the same license may have one, two or more activities on it. It would be difficult for entrepreneurs to navigate through the activity list. If authority would say, you can pick six activities from the same group for free, or you can choose up to six activities from different groups provided you pay for each additional activity, say 1000 dirhams. Since the list has several hundreds of activities, it would make it hard to do this activity matching. That's why authorities often simplify everything and say, you can pick that many activities with no additional charge if first four or first two digits are the same, and add that many activities for an additional fee if that many first digits are the same. Here, please do not forget that every registration authority decides independently how many activities can be added on the license and which additional charges, if any, will apply. Based on our practical experience working with many registration authorities in the UAE, we can conclude the following. Different authorities have different rules with respect to adding several business activities on the license. There are authorities which apply extra charges for additional activities in the first year only, but not at the time of license renewal. There are also those who allow many activities from the same group with no additional fee. Others are very strict and allow only a few of them to be stated on the license. Now that you know that there is no universal rule, always request a list of business activities from the authority and inquire how you can combine several activities and on what terms. Now, let's go back to our activity list. We said that the first column in the table is a code column. Next, we will have activity group column. After it, activity name and finally activity description. As you can imagine, business activity list cannot cover all possible business niches, especially now when new industries start evolving. That's why often we are asked what one should do if the activity you require is not in the list. We recommend you to share your plans with respective authority so you can receive an advice as to which activity would be the most suitable and closest to what you plan to do. We also saw cases where authorities created new activities and added them to the lists. As such, there is always a solution to the problem. Not everyone knows that certain business activities require external approvals. Usually, these approvals are non -objection require non-objection certificates, which are issued by respective government authorities for a certain fee. This fee can be as low as 500, uh, 500 dirhams, as much as 5000 dirhams or more, and sometimes you need to obtain these NOCs every year. This can be approvals from Ministry of Health, Municipality, Police, Central Bank and other government institutions. Our common suggestion is as follows. If you know you will require an external approval before you initiate company formation, find out the requirements of the relevant authority you will need to seek approval from. We want you to make sure that you will be able to comply with these requirements. Sometimes these requirements are linked to your qualification proof. Sometimes it is a bank guarantee deposit you will need to pay and you need to know how much it will be. Or it can be a business plan or other documents you will need to furnish. 
If you do not find out this before you start company formation process, you may need to part with application fees that you usually pay when applying for company registration. As we already mentioned it, some of the business activities require bank guarantee deposits. This amount is returned to you only then when your company is liquidated. The riskier the nature of your business is, the higher guarantee deposit may be. For example, travel agency has to deposit 100,000 dirhams at the Department of Tourism and Commercial Marketing. Customs brokers need to deposit 50,000 dirhams at customs office. And there is a number of other industries where a guarantee deposit will be required. You should also know that certain activities you will not be able to conduct. The cabinet may, based on the proposal made by the minister in coordination with the competent authorities, issue a decision setting the class of activities to be exclusively exercised by UAE nationals. Today, among activities which are restricted to UAE nationals and companies wholly owned by UAE nationals are real estate agency and brokerage activities, certain educational activities and some others. Now that you have learned what you shall do when choosing the future business activity for your company, we can move on to the next chapter.